This is the first in a series of videos on using Lua filters to help you create Quarto extensions. I have an extension called Title Page, and it creates custom title pages for PDFs. Within your Quarto extension, you'll have a file called Extension YAML that specifies what you are providing. In my case, I'm providing a format, a PDF format, and what that does is it um, provides a number of templates, but for today what I'm going to talk about is it provides a number of scripts, two scripts, that are run after you render the um, Quarto document. So here's um, a, a Quarto document example here. You can see it is using the format that my extension provides, and then you can see there's a variety of YAML here. These are all just common things to PDF. And then you can see I've labeled my uh, metadata that's specific to my extension with title page hyphen. So what my um, filter does, again, you can think of this like a script that's being run. What it's going to do is it is going to read in this metadata uh, and it's going to create some more metadata for me. Run some functions on this. And what that's going to allow me to do is then in my uh, template partials, so these are the things that are going to create the uh, tech that is going to be run through the, the uh, PDF generator. These uh, template partials will have access to that metadata, and that's how I'm able to customize the PDF title pages. Let's look at the format of one of these Lua filters, this script. It's pretty simple. We've got some local functions that I'm going to use in the script. And then the key thing is this thing right here. So this uh, function, and you need to use this format, is what is going to be run on that metadata and it will update that metadata. Again, remember, it's critical that I'm doing metadata because I need access to this metadata within my Pandoc templates. That's why I'm doing it. Okay, and within this function, I then have a variety of local functions. There they are. I have this local table. And here's the uh, key bit of logic for the code. It's actually fairly simple. It's really just two lines that are important. First, I read in the choice. So what did the, per the user input for their title page theme? It could be one of these here. This is just some error checking. And then right down here, that's the next key bit. And that, what that's doing is it is picking the option from that local title page table right here. And this is just a series of functions. So it picks, let's say the user chose academic, picks academic, and it returns this function m and uh, runs it. Okay. Next videos, we'll start to go through each of the pieces of this.